All right, uh, welcome back, Digital Imaging here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, some new tools today on this practice four. Uh, so for this first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our align tool. So, here we go. Doesn't let me zoom in here. Um, so we're gonna use our align tool. So uh, we can go up to a window and then go to align. It should be over here in our Windows panel. So first thing is I'm gonna grab my, um, select all my tools here. And then with these selected with my uh, selection tool, I can now go to my horizontal align here. Um, we wanna do, uh, sorry, we wanna do vertical align on this one here. So we're gonna vertical align this guy like that. I'm gonna select these. Whoops, uh, these might be locked here on the wrong layer. Yeah, it looks like they accidentally got locked here. <laughs> going to put these back up here are these on there yep these are kind of the wrong layer here so i'm just going to select these put them back where they're supposed to be okay um and then this one we're going to do a vertical align here so it goes down vertically uh so then i'm going to go back to my align panel <clears throat> okay right now these are all kind of bunched together uh, what i can also do is if i spread these out I'm going to select them all again. Oops. And then I'll do my vertical align again. And then I can also go to my distribute. So here with distribute, um, if I select right now, it's um, distributing it based on uh, both of these, this top and this bottom one, and getting an, in, uh, an even amount in between each one here. But if I click on one of these shapes, now I can put... Um, It'll distribute this, you know, now it'll put, let's say, like six points in between each one here. So there's a couple ways that you can do that here. Let me kind of show you this one, and that'll come in, make a little bit more sense here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a um, vertical distribute here. And then instead of doing this vertical distribute space here, I'm going to do a hor horizontal here. And then I'll do that. Okay and add more space there like that, okay? Uh, this next one, we're gonna use our Shape Builder tool. So remember the Shape Builder tool, that's this one here. Um, you can add stuff together or you can uh, subtract with the Shape Builder. So I've got all these selected and you'll notice where they kind of gray out. I can kind of like combine those pieces together or if I hold my Alt key, I can subtract uh, some of those pieces here. Okay. Like that. We're also using the Shape Builder here tool as well. Um, you should have this heart, or, <clears throat> um, yeah, you should have this heart here. So I'm just going to change the color that way you can kind of see this. Okay. And then what we're going to do <clears throat> for this one. Not sure why that didn't change. I'm gonna go back to my. There we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab my. Uh, let's grab my blob brush. So, the blob brush works kind of like the <coughs> paintbrush, but it's gonna make it all one uh, single piece here. If I use my bracket keys, I can make this bigger or smaller. So then mm -mm, I'm gonna change the color. And that way you can kind of see it. And I'm just going to do some kind of brushes like the ones that are here. Some brush strokes. Okay. Now I'm going <coughs> to... Sorry. Now I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab my Shape Builder tool again. And I want to delete... These lines that are outside my heart shape. <coughs> Sorry, and then, um, so I'm <coughs> using my Alt key for that. And then I'm gonna bring this to the top here. So I'm gonna hold, arrange, bring to front. Mm. Like that. 
Uh, for some reason, the bring to front didn't work, so I selected the blue and then did send it backwards. Okay. <coughs> this next one, uh, we're going to use our Pathfinder. So um, if you can't find that, you can go up to Window, and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder, and it's going to be in alphabetical order here. Okay. Um, these are all in order here with the Pathfinder. So I'm going to select this shape, go to Unite, select this one, minus Front. So it'll bring that, uh, get rid of that circle where it overlaps the rectangle. <laughs> intersect so where those overlap it'll keep that shape and then divide so with divide uh, it'll make it all separate pieces here where they overlap like that um, with something like this you want to use your direct selection tool uh, to delete those <coughs> Um, I'm on merge, so it'll make that all one piece here. Crop, it's kind of like intersect, but crops it. Outline, and then minus back. So it deletes the back piece. Okay. Uh, this one, we're going to use our clipping mask. So I'm going to select this. Clipping mask is up an object. Clipping mask and make. And how that works is so there is that oval piece on the top here. And it cuts out the uh, shape that's in front and does that. It's all still there. If I wanted to edit it, I could go back to clipping mask and do release or edit contents. If I do release, it'll... Uh, release that. Let me get back here. Okay. So if I wanted to like change the shape of this, I could. And then select everything again. Object. Clipping mask. And make. And I'll do that. Okay. So with clipping mask, you can use like pieces, multiple pieces together. Kind of combine those together. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my uh, eraser tool and then the knife and the scissors tool is inside there. So the eraser tool works kind of like the paintbrush. If I use my bracket keys, I can make my eraser uh, bigger or smaller. Okay. So you can kind of like draw with it. You'll notice that it keeps the stroke of the object here. With my scissors, what you want to do is you want to click once where you want to start and then click where you want to end up. And then if you grab your direct selection tool, whoops, we're going to grab the other piece. It'll um, cut that piece along the line that I make here. And then the knife tool, you draw with the knife tool. So if I draw like that, it will <coughs> separate those pieces out. Okay, so they all do kind of sort of the same thing, um, but a little bit different here. Okay, my width tool uh, is going to be, whoops, here is my width tool. So with my width tool, I want to select my shape, grab my width tool, and with the width tool, you can change uh, the thickness of your stroke. So if you see this uh, white circle here, I can click and drag and I can adjust the stroke. I can also select anchor points and it'll change just along that anchor point here. So instead of like going in and using like my um, different brushes or these different profiles up here for my stroke, I can go in and by hand, you know, make something go from like thick to thin or something like that, okay, with the width tool. So it's gotta be a shape that has a stroke on it, okay? And then we're gonna grab our blob brush. So the blob brush works a bit different than the paint brush. Um, with the blob brush, <clears throat> when I draw with the paint brush, it makes a line. So I can select this line here. I could add a brush to it, and it'll change that. With the blob brush, 
it makes it all kind of like one single piece here. So if I draw with this, I'm trying to make this little pretzel guy. Okay. Instead of it being a line, uh, or whoops, I used the wrong tool, LOL. It'll be all one single piece. I can make my, br my brush bigger or smaller, my blob brush bigger or smaller, um, using my bracket keys. Okay. So now if I look at this, now you'll see it's all like one single piece. It doesn't have a line, it doesn't have a stroke to it. Um, a path and an anchor like this other one, okay. There's some different settings that you can change. So if you noticed after I made it, kind of smoothed it out. Um, if I click on that here, I could up the smoothness or decrease it so it's more um, exactly how I make it. Okay. And then this last piece, um, you should have this heart here. Whoops, um, can I grab, I'm gonna step backwards here. I'm gonna grab this heart from here, okay. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our um, effects panel. There's lots of different effects that you can do, um, but we're gonna use our effects panel to make this heart kind of like spiral in like this here. So I'm going to go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then I'm going to go to Transform. Okay. This window opens up. I've got a screenshot here of what this looks like. Um, so I'm going to do 90, 90. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep this at 100 here because I want that heart to stay the same. Um, this horizontal and vertical stay zero. Here, I'm going to change this angle to six degrees. Okay. And then for the amount of copies, I'm going to make uh, 16 copies here. Okay. And it'll bring that in here um, just like that. Um, there we go. I do need to put this at 90 and that'll go in like that. Um, so it's making it smaller as it goes in here. Okay.